Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day 12 of Follow a Sketch February. A hop started by Scrapping Reflections or Sandy with Scrapping Reflections. And here is today's sketch. It is by Laura Rumble and I am going to turn it to the side because the picture that I have, the main picture is us in the car on our way to the beach. And so it is a horizontal picture. And then I'm going to trim out that sign um, and use that as my back picture. And so to get the stars on here, I have an idea. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I have this paper studio um, paper. It's got sand on it. Thought that that would be a good mat for my picture. And then I have this Recollections Light Blue Distressed Paper. Um, and I am going to use the Scrapping Reflections stencil. This is All-Star stencil. One of my favorites. And I'm going to use that. I cut a big circle out of a piece of paper um, so that I can make that circular um, um, stars and see how that goes. And I've got three different colors that I'm going to work with. And I'm just kind of winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> But um, we're going to just, you know, see how fun it looks when we're done. So um, I'm hoping to bring in some embellishments. I haven't picked any of that out, but I got a beach box below me. So, or right next to me, that's got all my embellishments that are beachy themed. So I have my papers, my stencil, my mixed media, my pictures, and the sketch. So let's see how this goes. So I start with Salty Ocean, and I'm just going to go around in a circle. Now, this one is easy to make a circle because I have a guide. <laughs> Should I have made a, another circle and um, made it smaller so that I could make a nice, lovely circle around? Mm -hmm, yep. And afterwards, I did think I should have filled in the entire space and not left gaps, but on the sketch... Um, there's, you know, a gap between each, you know, circle of color or each circle of stars. So I decided I would just go ahead and wing it. Um, I can't cut a circle. I certainly don't know why I thought I could make one. Um, it's not too terribly bad. Um, it's not perfect. And I do like it the way that it ends up but at first I was like oh, Lord have mercy so um what I should have done was can just continued on and made um all those spaces where they're now you know that light blue from the paper I should have just filled them all in and then did some blending but you know it's fine and like I said I do like the way that it turns out so that is a bonus so here is the reveal see I'm not hating it I love that I filled in those blue, dark blue stars on the outside, um, even though they kind of come in a little bit further. I'm perfectly fine with that. I just want to make sure to leave a little space to where there was, um, you know, that's emptiness in the middle or, you know, in between each color. So I am going to map my picture and then I'm going to trim down the other one. Sorry about the glare. I didn't realize until later that there was a big glare right there. Um, and also I'm going to apologize because I sound terrible, but I think it's just because the weather here has gone from like 30 to 60 to 40 to 30 to 20 to, I mean, like it's crazy. Um, so I want to mat my smaller picture on something and I wasn't sure what I wanted to mat it on. So I just made my own background and pulled the stencil back out and make, um, the, um, I just tucked a little six and a half by four and a half mat stack underneath my stencil and I'm using the same three colors dried marigold salvage patina and salty ocean that I used on the background and this what after I get done doing this is why when I realized I should have done this with the background paper I wasn't sure how well it would blend especially the dried marigold with the salvage patina um, but it looks really good. I think that this turned out so cool. So had I filled in that whole thing, it would have, I think it would have looked good. Um, so, but you know, again, it's fine. Um, so I had a hard time debating if I wanted this to go, you know, one way or the other. I obviously am cutting off quite a bit of this and that is fine. I can make more. I am thrilled with how that turned out and I will be using, um, these colors together again because I think they look really good together. Um, 
because that orange is a little bit more on the peachy side than orange. I mean, it's obviously orange, but it's more of a peachy color. So then I mat it on black so that it will stand out. And I debated matting the sand one on black as well, but I didn't want to do that. I thought that the black behind this um, Welcome to Holden Beach, the family beach, which is my favorite, um, I thought that maybe putting that on there would help um, pop that out just a little bit. Because I feel like the family picture is obviously um, what you're drawn to because, I mean, look at all those cute people and that sweet little doggy. Um, so, but I thought that this, um, backing this on black would help it stand out a little. So I'm just trying to find the best place for my picture placement. And I know I want to do it in the bottom corner instead of up a little bit more, um, like she has in the sketch, because I don't want to cover that middle section. Um, but I want to cover any kind of imperfection or the most amount of imperfection. <laughs> And, um, so I move, <laughs> I think I turned this thing like four times. This is not its final resting place. This I think is, um, because there's that big gap right there on the right side between the orange color and the, or the dried marigold and the salvage patina. And so putting the pictures here kind of blocks that big odd gap. Um, so, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you might not have seen all that if it, you'd just see the layout and not how I built it. So I get those down and I'm liking the way it looks, but I feel like it needs something um, to ground it a little bit more. Plus this paper I've got it on, that Recollections paper is super thin. So I decided I would mat it on a piece of like a dark blue and it came from a Recollections paper bag pad called By the Shore, By the Seashore. And it's just pretty much solid. I mean, it's got a hint of a pattern in it, but you can't really see it very well. Almost looks like a pair of blue jeans, um, but I liked the dark color. Now, this is my beach ephemera because I create a lot of beach layouts right after I come home from the beach and while I'm at the beach, and so I usually will um, just take my little container and use all the stuff in it. Now, yeah, I need more beach themed things. Now, am I going to go buy them right now? No, I am not. I'm on a freeze and I promised myself to be good about it. And so far, so good. I have not bought anything but adhesive and cardstock and some scrapbook albums that I needed when they were on sale at Hobby Lobby. So other than that, I have not purchased any new things except with a gift card and uh, my free rewards. And even that was adhesive. So <laughs> still not really breaking it. So um, let's see. So I've got those palm trees out and I'm thrilled that I have those because they are, um, Jolie's by you. I'm pulling them out right now. Um, and they, um, were created in 2002. So yeah, um, I'm super excited about using that. And then I also have these, my mind's eye Palm Beach, those came in an embellishment set that I got, I think, from Peacecraft Love. And I think, I'm pretty sure that's where I got them. And I've used some of the brads already. Um, but I thought that these ones and that tag that I pulled out would be good because the um, aqua color looks very similar to the salvage patina. And then it's got like a pinky color, which I had considered bringing pink in as well. But I thought doing more than three colors would be a little too adventurous for me. Um, and so I am using my Stampin' Up! Um, pick Me tool. I think it's called a Pick Me or You Pick. I gotta figure it out so I can tell you. Um, anyway, so I use that to poke a hole in this top part up here because that's where I want to put my little tag. And I'm going to do a very small amount of journaling or write the date or whatever right there. Um, and for the most part, that'll be about it. Um, but this is for my 2022 scrapbook. Um, because I have a book all about this trip, I don't want to include more than um, a couple layouts in my chronological yearbook, like the book for that year. Um, so what I'll do is um, do like a welcome to the beach or headed to the beach and then a goodbye to the beach because I have pictures of my kids waving goodbye to the beach every year. So I'll do two layouts that'll go in my chronological book and then everything else, like all the 
fancies, including these pictures, will be done and put in a book just for um, our trip. So, I did add some Tim Holtz word phrases up there at the top and a title in foam um, thickers that says Joy, um, where there was a banner at the bottom, and added a couple of more brads from at my mind's eye, Palm Beach. And that is it. I didn't feel like it needed a whole lot more, and I do really like the way that this turned out. So, if you all are interested in stencils, check out Scrapping Reflections because she has 12 by 12s and I love them. And also, you can go check her um, Facebook group out because that's where all the sketches are. If you want to follow along with Follow Sketch February, even on your own time, there are other people you can check the hashtag out. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. Happy scrapping!